It's like, what is going on? I don't like this. Super shark shadows, or super shark shadows. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I was really kind of back to the easy, breezy, not super involved makeup looks this week. So I've got some kind of like easy makeup favorites and sort of like summertimey makeup favorites. Like I think this is a very um, summertime, just easy breezy sort of a makeup look. So I was loving this kind of a look this week. So let's get to the favorites. So for eyes this week, my standout favorite thing to do was just to put a little bit of bronzer in my crease, this color on my lid, and then just some different colored liners. And I'm wearing them right now. So this was just like an easy go-to makeup look this week that I just, I really love. I think it's very summery looking and doesn't take a lot of effort, but still looks kind of just fun and colorful. So the bronzer I used, I didn't bring in here, but it was just my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is one of my go-tos to just throw in my crease. And then the sparkly shadow is this one from ColourPop. This is Ritz. And what I was doing also, which is a little bit different, is I was applying it on my lids and then actually bringing it into my crease a little bit, which is not usually what I do. Normally I keep that sparkle just right on my lids, but for some reason I was kind of liking bringing just a little bit up into my crease. Just, I don't even know why, just for a little added sparkle or something, just so that um, a little bit of the sparkle would show. So I would do it more intense on my lid. So like a lot of sparkle on the lid and then just a little subtle sparkle up into the crease and into my bronzer that I would already apply. So I'd start with the bronzer and then I would do the sparkly shadow. So this is just a beautiful kind of um, light tan base to it with a lot of shimmer over the top, but it is just happy, fun shimmer. And it's one of those like, it's like this happy balance of it's glitter. So that's kind of a little bit over the top, but it's not, I don't know, bright pink glitter or bright purple glitter. It's kind of more neutrally glitter. So it has this like fun freshness to it. So I really, really like it. I love the ColourPop glitters. I mean, these are all so pretty or they're super shark shadows. They're super shark shadows. I really, really like. And their sparkly ones are just so fun. I feel like I've said fun and happy about 18 million times, but that's just what I was feeling this week was happy and fun. So this was part of that. So the two liners are these. So mainly this one, but then I add just a little bit of this one on my upper lash line. So this is the Merle Norman Soft Touch Eye Pencil in Ocean Blue. But I think any kind of a, you know, turquoisey, tealy sort of a color. I do love this pencil. I think this was part of the Spring Collection. Um, if it's still available, uh, you can check your local studios to see if it's like still there or not. Cause I know they've like had it in one collection and then they brought it back again. It's beautiful. But if this color is not available, I would say just some kind of a beautiful, bright turquoisey sort of a color. But again, I love these pencils and they come with these little like, um, rubbery applicators on the end. So you can kind of like smudge out. So that's what I did on my lower lash line. So these are great. So if you can get this one, I love it. But if you can't, I think this color is really, really pretty. This kind of a, you know, oceany blue sort of a color. Calling it ocean blue, I think totally matches. So I do have that on my upper lash line and my lower lash line. I kind of smudged it on my lower lash line with that little rubbery applicator thing. And then on my upper lash line, I added a little bit of this, which is the Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner in Navy just because I wanted to give a little bit more dimension to it because by itself that turquoise was a pretty intense look, like just a, a statement sort of an eye look because it's, it's a bright turquoise. So I like to kind of take it down a notch by adding just a little bit of the navy close to my lash line. So that's what I did. And I love these Laura Geller liners. I get them on QVC in big sets. That is definitely the place to buy them because you can get like I don't know, sometimes you'll have deals where it's like eight of them for 40 something dollars. So it's, I mean, less than drugstore prices and they're awesome liners. Once again, they come with a little smudgy applicator on them. I actually like the smudgy applicator on the Merle Norman one a little bit better because this one is angled and I find this one a little bit difficult to use for me personally, whereas this one is just um, like domed. So, but that's a little minor detail. That's just a little FYI. They both come with those little 
um, smudgy, rubbery applicators. So there is the Merle Norman one, there is the Laura Geller one, and then on my eyes you can see how they pair together. So it's just really pretty. Yeah, I just like do that on my upper lash line, do a little bit of a wing, do this one really close to my lash line, and then smudge this on my lower lash line. So it ends up being just easy. So if you want something to get out the door, you don't even have to do the shimmer. You could just put the bronzer in your crease and then you don't have to do a, like a colorful liner. You could just do you know, a brown or a black liner and apply it, smudge a little bit on your lower lash line, out the door. So yeah, I was playing with the liners this week and really liking them. For cheeks this week, I was gonna wait to mention this in my monthly favorites, but honestly, this is what I've been using all week as my blush, and I even did this last week too. So I'm gonna do this as my cheek favorite this week, and I'll just re-mention it in my monthly favorites because I love this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer, and this is in the shade Beach. So this is what the packaging looks like. It does come with a little um, applicator dealy. I just use my own brushes, but this is what it looks like. And I do have this on my cheeks today. So, I mean, it is a bronzer. I also have a highlighter I'm about to mention to you. But it is a bronzer, but it has like this um, slight bit of sheen to it. And then also a little bit of like, almost like a reddish warmth to it which sounds scary, but it ends up being just so pretty and summery, depending on your skin tone and just kind of like how you tan and how you, I guess, sunburn too, like I get red. So this looks pretty natural for me, like as that flush on my cheeks. And it's just so pretty. And the formula of it is so nice that it's just really easy to work with. It buffs out really beautifully. You can see it has that little bit of a sheen, especially where I kind of blended it out. It has that little bit of a sheen. So it just, it's so summery and beautiful. It smells good too. It smells like coconut, which is awesome. So it's real subtle though, like you have to really get up there to smell it so it's not like it's intensely coconutty scented. It's just very, very, um, a little hint of it. And it's just beautiful on the cheeks. So. This was a go-to and has been really for a couple of weeks where I just throw it on um, as my contour and then I just kind of buff it up onto my cheeks as my blush also. So it's a great blush bronzery sort of a product and an awesome formula. Love, love it. And then this mega highlighter that I'm wearing is this right here. This is ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek in Flexitarian. And this is one of their like, I think most famous ones. It gets a lot of hype because it is amazing. Look at that, how it catches the light. It is so pretty. Now this is an intense highlight. You have to like intense highlights. I mean, you can apply this with a brush and kind of blend it out, but I mean, it doesn't take a lot for this to get intense looking. It's very, very metallic-y looking and just a statement sort of a highlighter. It is beautiful. Now the, the Super Shock Cheeks are a different sort of a highlighter um, formula and they're really honestly not my favorite ones to work with because I find them to be, they just take a little bit of tweaking, which I don't mind. I always love like playing with makeup and doing different application techniques, but this one I find a little bit more cumbersome, I guess, to work with um, because it's that, it's almost like a rubbery, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not a cream, but it's almost like a, like a rubbery sort of a texture to it almost. And then it almost becomes like a cream. Um, so I usually use it with a brush and kind of build it up and I'll kind of push my brush against it this way, but then you get quite a bit of product. Um, I've also applied it with my finger, but then I find I don't, I can't blend it quite as well that way. So what I usually do is I start with a brush kind of buff it on slowly, and then I'll take my finger and just put a little bit more right at the high points of my cheeks. So then you get that intensity um, of that like last step, but then you get the soft focus look of the brush. So I would say don't drag your brush across this way. If you want that subtle sort of a look first, I would wipe it this way because you're gonna get just a little bit of product that you can buff on, and then I would use your finger to apply a little bit more. You could also do the brush that way, but that gets a lot of product. And I think um, enough, like so much product that it almost accentuates 
the texture. So that's just a little FYI on how I apply it. But as far as what it looks like, it's beautiful. I mean, it is just this gorgeous, light, champagne-y sort of a highlight color. I mean, it is beautiful. It's got this little bit of a pink, like peachy pink sort of a shift to it, almost like a, even a tan a little bit neutrally tones. It's got some neutrally tones under there, but then it's got that strong champagne shimmery look to it. So it's intense. If you like an intense highlighter, I think you'll really like it. And also you just might have to, you know, tweak your application technique just a little bit. And then for lips, I just have one standout favorite and it's this lip color right here. This is one of the L'Oreal Infallible lipsticks and this is in 112 Unending Kiss. And this is what I have on my lips right now. This is one of those live in your purse sort of colors. It's super neutrally. Um, it's got a little bit of like a satin cream sheen to it. So it looks really beautiful on the lips. And this is super long wearing. Now it is an interesting sort of a, a feeling on the lips. See what a pretty color it is. I love the color. It's just, it just goes with so many things. It's very, very pretty, very feminine. Um, so as far as the formula goes, so it starts out feeling like creamy, um, like a cream lipstick, but it's a long wearing lipstick. So it does start to get that slight tacky feel to it. But I mean, it's not like liquid lipstick tacky. You know, when those get tacky, it's like, what is going on? I don't like this. It doesn't get to that point. It's just a little bit tacky. And I think it's that really just adhering to your lips sort of a feeling. So I really don't even notice it like as I'm wearing it, unless I really think about it. Then, I'm, then I can think, well, yeah, it's a little bit tacky. But I think it's just that adhering to your lips. And because of that, this color stays around for a long time, even through eating some stuff, like just if you're having a little snack or something, you're still gonna have some color left, which is awesome. So it ends up being a really low maintenance sort of a lip color. Like it's not that liquid lipstick there, not there sort of situation. It really kind of does a little bit of the fading like a lipstick, but it hangs on a little bit more than just a regular lipstick. So really like the formula of it. Love the packaging, it's very pretty. And then just really love this color. It's such a pretty neutrally pink. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Wanted to give you guys a little heads up. I will not have a Friday favorites for the next couple of weeks. Just gonna take a little bit of time off from filming to hang out with Timothy. So don't worry, I will still have up videos for you guys though. I will have up monthly favorites and then I will also have up like get ready with me's and reviews and all my regular sort of videos. Just gonna take some time off from filming Friday favorites. So wanted to let you guys know that so you wouldn't worry about me. So I would love to know what you guys were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.